Steve, I, ge I genuinely don't know what to make of that because there are the bigger battles to come. So I, d I don't know. I can't guess whether you'd be angry, embarrassed, or it's just one of those things. What are you? Well, all of them things. And unfortunately for us, um, may I say to start with, uh, the supporters going home listening to your show, um, I apologise because if I had to come over here and paid money to go and watch that, then I'd be uh, I'd be in up in arms because they've seen the team just be so lacklustre and so lethargic. It was as if they're playing in a friendly end of season friendly or a or a testimonial game, if you like. That's the way we approached it. We didn't play with enough tempo, enough energy, enough bear. You know, and the one thing that annoys me, and probably the reason why we aren't where we are, is we've seen that performance too often. Mm -hmm. You know, we've lost now 11 games. Probably, you know, we've lost twice to teams that are relegated, and that can only be one thing. That's mentality of not doing the, not doing your job right. And I know we've made a few changes. I thought the changes would give the team impetus. I thought they would lay the gauntlet down to say, go on then, lads, off you go, and go and find you know, your way forward and, uh, and make a push, make a push for the, um, for the team, which is going to be, you know, the, the, the two games against Derby are going to be huge. And, uh, and that's, a, that's today a disappointment. Yeah, can you put your finger on why? Because there's places up for grabs here. You're not settled on your team that will go into the playoffs. Well, I haven't been settled, Burnsy, because every now and again we've threw in a performance like that. You know, that's the reason why we're not settled. You know, we, we go from being looking a really good team against Brentford the other night, who are bang in form, got some good players, and then we go just so lethargic and easy ozy today where I can't really, really address it. So that's a frustration and a disappointment because you would think all of the ones that I've given a chance to today would be chomping at the bit to, to make a claim to get into the team. Is there anybody that you thought... Oh, well, I thought Elmo's right. had his get, Elmo's had his best game in weeks. The young right-back did OK. After that, then you'd be struggling, wouldn't you? If you're going to be genuinely honest, the young bad boy played well for his debut. He must be scratching his head thinking, what on earth's going on here? So that's the disappointment, a real disappointment for me. And as I said, the, probably the reason why the reason why we're in the playoffs and not going automatic is we've had too many performances like that where teams, lesser teams... Um, mentality not right, not doing enough, and uh, and you get your backsides kicked, and we've just witnessed it again. So, looking ahead to to, to Rotherham, do you, what do you do for Rotherham? I'm fascinated how you get the right team in the right sort of position and the right frame of mind for Derby. Well, look, the most important thing for me was going in was to give everybody the opportunity, right, and to give me two fullbacks who've played 40 games this year, then or 50 games probably a break from it. So. We knew that we're playing, somebody making their debut and Sam playing at left back today. I was having a look at him to say if something happened to Robertson in particular. So them two come back into the team, we know that, so it's freshened them up. And obviously we've missed their penetration, what they give us. But, you know, today was just one of them ones where a typical end of season and, uh, and one of them horrible ones. Mm. Hernandez not, not featuring. Is he in cotton wool? Are you worried about an injury? Has he got an injury? Well, he got a kick against, was it well, we, um, two weeks ago? Yeah. The, yeah. And, uh, and we brought him off there, and it was a nasty one. But you're right. I mean, we've got to look after him. And I felt, you know, certainly when we're without him, then we find it difficult to score. So cotton wool's a nice way of putting it. But he will play next week. He'll train all the time. He trained again this morning. So, um, you know, the knock without the games, if, he had, if we needed him, he could have played. But the knock, what we've got, we've just made sure that he's OK. He's 100%. Just going back to young Lenehan, what, what caught your eye about his performance today? Well, he did everything right. You know, he did, he did everything right. I mean, he was, um, he's, uh, he's had a tough time in terms of illness and injury. Um, but he's played eight games now for the 21s. And uh, he did very, very well. He's another young player we've got with a bright future. OK. Are you worried about it going into the playoffs when you've seen that today? No, because I know we'll turn up. I know we'll turn up because the playoffs are the playoffs. And unless you've got something sick inside you, 
then I know for a fact that we'll be, we'll be at our best. And at our best, we know there are only a handful for any team. But we've got that frag fragility about us when it has to be a mentality where what we witnessed today, unfortunately, has cost us. Because I can go back and now and pick them, going back right the way back in August to, to Charlton, to Rotherham, to Leeds, to a few others where teams in the bottom, I mean Bolton, to be fair to them, you know, they've got a few kids playing and, you know, and a 38-year-old centre-forward and, uh, and probably deserve the victory.